this video i am going to explain how to implement uh, string operations string uh, operations like uh, string copy string comparison string concatenation and to find the string length of two string strings so uh, for this program you have to include three header files as include std io.h as include std string.h as include std lib.h next four functions we have to call so we are declaring void string copy uh, argument for this one is char str130 comma char str2 30 you have to use same thing str230 that means uh, string 1 and string 2 both are of character type okay array and size is 30 we can give up to 30 length uh, strings next wide compare same care string 130 care string 230 for each you have to and colon at the end. Similarly, string concatenation, string can as char str130, comma char str230 for string length also, char uh, str130, comma char str230. So, str1 and s2 are of type array and uh, it is of type character type. Wide main open bracket in char choice. CH is this one is for choice. So we have to select any one choice, either copy or compare or concat or string length. So user has to enter his choice. So the choice is declared as int type. Next, char str130, str230. We already declared here, no problem. Once again, we declared here. Next, printf, enter the string 1 and string 2. Wherever slash n is there, that is new line. So in the new line, it will print enter string 1, string 2. Again, it will go to the new line because at the end also slash n is there. Now, scan f you have to call to scan the string 1 and then string 2. So two strings are scanned out simultaneously. So percentage s, percentage s. Two times. First time percentage s will, uh, whatever you enter the string, that will go to the str1. Second percentage is whatever you are enter that will go to the string. After that, in the display, we have to display enter your choice. Your choice, you have to select any one of these four choice slash n that means new line. In the new line, one for string copy again slash n. In the second line, two colon string compare again slash n. Third line. Third option choice is for string concatenation again slash n for fourth line and fourth option is for string length. Okay, last you should enter slash n and close the bracket and semicolon. Next, that is a choice user has to enter and it is one or two or three or four. It is a character, it is actually integer. So scan f. Uh, to scan the integer value percentage d you have to give within double quotes and ampersand ch so this whatever the choice is going to enter it will be stored in the variable ch which is declared as int okay so address uh, ampersand you have to use here next to switch statement switch ch choice ch if user enter choice one then you have to call String copy str1 comma str2. Okay, after that it should break, it should not continue with the other case options. Suppose user enter the choice 2, then it should perform only string comparison 1 and 2, and it should break from this such statement. Okay, next if option is 3, this concatenation, if option is 4, string length of uh, string 1 and string 2. Suppose if he enters other than uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever he enter, either alphabets or number, it is an invalid choice. So you have to print f, 
invalid choice try with valid input so user has to enter only one or two or three or four for all other inputs it will display invalid choice and exit zero exit within a bracket zero semicolon and close bracket you have to see for state switch statement is a close bracket for main is the close bracket next uh, four functions like void string copy str1 str2 so int i for i is equal to 0 str of str1 of i if not equal to 0 that is slash zero means end of the string if not equal to end of the string you have to do str2 of i str of 2 of i is same as str1 of i str2 of i is same as str1 of i so this will repeat after that i plus plus will take place Okay, plus plus ply or i plus plus both are correct okay you can write i plus plus also no problem and uh, it this will repeat until the string one end of the string that is slash n if it is not equal to then only it will form this once it is equal to the slash zero it is a zero at the end of the string one it will stop and at the end of second string after copying we are copying string 2 with the string 1 value so at the end of string 2 also we have to put uh, this slash 0 so str2 of i is equal to slash 0 otherwise if you give printf str2 it will continuously print some random values so that's why you have to put str2 of i is equal to slash 0 at the end next printf Within a, semico, within a double quote string 2 after copying the string 1 percentages because we are printing the string and we have to print string 2 string 2 is in the string 2 we copied string 1 value only next for if the choice is 2 so it is going to compare string 1 and string 2 so it will open the bracket in i for i is equal to 0 str1 of i if it is not equal to 0 that is not the end of the string i plus plus what to do let to compare if str1 of i not equal to str2 of i it will compare 0th position next first position second position until both are same if it is not equal if it is not equal immediately it will print print f strings are not equal because first two uh, letters are equal first three are also equal if it, in the first letter only if it is mismatch is there immediately it will print they are not equal if it is till the end of the string if it is not uh, if it is same okay if it is same then we can write print f strings are equal i will show in the demo next third function string concatenation okay char str1 char str2 i comma length at least length so there is a built-in function in um, c program str length it will give the length of string 1 and string 2 for i is equal to 0 str 2 is not equal to 0 this is a uh, concatenation that comparison string concatenation so for that we are calculating the length length is equal to str length of str 1 for i is equal to 0, i, uh, i is equal to 0, str2 of i, if not equal to end of the string, okay, then you have to do str1 length plus i. Why you have to take length plus y means you have to retain string 1 and at the end you have to concatenate string 2 also. So up to length of the string 1. We should not disturb. So whatever you are writing, whatever you are concatenating, that should start from after the length. So length plus i. So length plus i is equal to str2 of i. So it will copy until str2 string to end of the string. Up to that, it will add all the characters uh, in that. So this will repeat until str2 of i that is the second string uh, end of the string it will repeat 
and after that we have to print f after the concatenation of string 2 to the string 1 string 1 will retain and after the string 1 string 2 will concatenate it with the string 1 so that result will be here this is the destination str1 so you have to print str1 not str2 so string 1 is actually concatenated with string 2 so you have to type and after the concatenation of string 2 to string 1 is percentages because it is a string so slash n is again for new line and you have to print str1 so last one is string length so here you can directly type i think this is not required whether we have built-in function if you want you can use a uh, uh, len1 is equal to str len of str1 and len2 is equal to str len of uh, str2 directly you can write so that is actually a built-in function if you want to do manually how it is actually going to do means this is the code for i is equal to 0 str1 of i not equal to end of three string i plus plus each time you have to if the string is not containing end of three string each time you have to do len1 plus plus initially len1 is 0 so every time if it is not equal to end of line you have to increment plus after that similarly for string 2 also you have to do you can directly use string length like uh, here we are using uh, this one directly give length of the string 1 len okay so here we are using len1 and len2 similarly uh, here also len1 is equal to str len of str1 similarly len2 is equal to str len of string 2 also you can directly there is actually a built in function this is uh, our code so after that we can type printf the length of the string percentage d because it is integer and length of string 2 percentage d both are declared as a len1 and len2 are declared as type int so you have to declare so it will display length of the string 1 as len1 length of the string 2 as len2 these two are obtained from uh, here len1 plus plus len2 plus plus each time it will increment value okay so now this is i'm actually uh, showing the output in um, developer c plus plus so you can use either turbo c plus plus or developer c plus plus for c program or uh, develop studio c studio also you can use so i think uh, best is developer c plus plus so for in this tool the compilation is this okay the symbol is compilation and compiling so it's going zero errors error zero warning zero for running f pen or this So it is asking enter you can zoom it okay. i am zooming okay now i am entering string one and string two so string one i will write a theme you can write you can write theme and it is asking for enter your choice okay for copy if you write if i select copy what happens string one is team now string two is india if you copy string two will be copied with string one that is team if you compare if the option is if the choice is two it will compare team with india and it will show both are not equal they are not equal if you use concatenation it will type team india continuous without space if it is length it will give team a length of this one is four length of india as five so let us do first one first option i will select this enter so string two after copying string one is team okay press any key to continue again i will run okay team India, I'll zoom. Okay, compare. Second option I will give. Strings are not equal. Strings are 
not equal e1 if you give uh, i'll show one more i'll write capital i and d i a small i and d i a okay all are correct first letter only capital i and small i so then also you can see it will give strings are not equal if both are same then only it will clear okay now i will show if both are equal now both are equal option 2 see the strings are equal okay next uh we'll do third option that is concatenation so again i'll write team india i'll write team space india so third option i'll write type 3 you can see After concatenation string 2 with string 1 it is coming as team india so fourth option string length no? so for that once again i will run uh, e yeah so for four option it will give the length of team and length of india length of string one that is team is four length of string two that is india is five okay this is how to see string operations okay thank you